Are you a fan of the late actor Michael Landon? He was a talented actor and known best for his role as Little Joe Cartwright on the popular western series Bonanza. He became a huge star because of his good looks and great acting abilities. Even after Bonanza ended, he continued to have a successful career in both film and television. He sadly passed away too young at the age of 54 in 1991. He's also passed on his acting talents to his daughter Jennifer, who is now all grown up and is a successful actress in her own right. Let's learn about Michael Landon's life and legacy and what his daughter Jennifer is up to today. Michael Landon Eugene Maurice Orowitz was born October 31, 1936 in Queens, New York. He first considered pursuing a career as a professional athlete. During his school years, he was an accomplished javelin thrower. In 1954, he threw a javelin at a distance of 193 feet 4 inches, which was the record for a high school student in that year. He won an athletic scholarship at the University of Southern California, but sadly his athletic career was cut short. He tore a ligament, and this put an end to his javelin throwing prospects. But he didn't lose hope, and he knew he had the talent to entertain others. He found a job as a gas station attendant across from Warner Brothers Studio, deciding that a career in showbiz was his destiny. He was eventually discovered by a talent agent who helped him find work. Around this time, Eugene created his stage name Michael Landon, a name he found in a phone book. He began his acting career in the mid-50s, landing bit parts in popular TV shows. His early TV work included roles in shows like Luke and the Tenderfoot, The Loretta Young Show, Telephone Time, and General Electric Theater. While his profile was growing, he was struggling to land a role that would launch him to stardom. But his big break came at the end of the 1950s, when he was cast in a lead role in a new western series called Bonanza. He was cast as Little Joe Cartwright, the youngest of the three Cartwright brothers. In the show, he portrayed the rebellious spirit that many American youth felt as the conservative 50s were transitioning to the more free-spirited 60s. Not only was he lauded for his performance, but women fawned over him due to his good looks and he never looked back after that. Following the end of Bonanza, Michael Landon kept himself busy in both film and television. He later starred as Charles Ingalls in the show Little House on the Prairie. He also played Jonathan Smith in the 1980s TV series Highway to Heaven. He wrote and directed the feature film Sam's Son, partially based on his teenage years. He was sadly diagnosed with a rare form of pancreatic cancer in April of 1991 and passed away on July 1st at age 54. He left behind an incredible body of work, including TV shows, TV movies, feature films, and even a few music records. Landon was married three times and fathered nine children. One of his children, daughter Jennifer, has also become a popular actress in her own right. Before we tell you more about what Michael's daughter is up to today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse for more. Jennifer Landon Jennifer Landon was born August 29, 1983, in Malibu, California. She's the daughter of Michael Landon and his wife, Cindy Clerico. Her first foray into acting came at age five, when she had a small role in an episode of Highway to Heaven alongside her father. This is one of two times she acted alongside her father, the second being in a pilot for a show called Us that was never developed further. After graduating high school, she moved to New York to study acting. There, she appeared in several independent theater productions and honed her craft. She made her feature film debut in 2004 when she appeared in a supporting role in the film L.A. DJ. But she became a household name when she landed a role in the popular soap opera As the World Turns. She played the character Gwen Muslin in over 500 episodes of the show. She later became part of the ensemble cast of another popular As the World Turns, in which she played Heather Stevens. She is focused mainly on television, making guest appearances in popular shows like House, Chicago Med, and The Resident. She also appeared in a lead role in the controversial horror film I Spit on Your Grave in 2015. Since 2017, she's kept herself busy in TV once again. She played Hillary Nelson in five episodes of Days of Our Lives and Amy in the show Animal Kingdom. She's also appeared in the TV movies Ride or Die, Within These Walls, and Run for Your Life. Making it big with Yellowstone In 2020, Jennifer Landon was cast as Teeter in the Western series Yellowstone. The show premiered in 2018 and follows the Dutton family as they try to protect their land. She was cast as Teeter in 2020. The show is arguably one of the biggest hits on television and streaming services right now and has become one that so many actors wish to appear on. 
Jennifer Landon has managed to reach a new legion of fans through her appearances in the show. In 2021 and 2022, she's appeared as Sarah Allen in the popular show FBI Most Wanted. Her most recent feature film role was in the 2018 political drama The Front Runner. She played Anne McDaniel in the film which focused on Senator Gary Hart's fall from grace. In 2020, she also starred in the TV movie Within These Walls, alongside Joshua Close and Tara Redmond Van Rees. She's a brilliant actress in her own right, but much credit also should go to her father, who inspired her to pursue a career in acting. She remembers him fondly, and her best memory of him involves a ski trip they went on. She also loves watching reruns of TV shows her father starred in. Michael Landon's Legacy Michael was arguably one of the most famous TV actors of our time. He appeared on the cover of the magazine TV Guide 22 times. While he was part of an ensemble cast on Bonanza, for many, he was the reason to watch the show. His brilliant acting skills, boyish good looks, and charm led to his massive appeal. He also had a reputation for being a professional and a joy to work with. He remained close to many of the cast and crew members from Bonanza and worked with some of them in future projects. Melissa Gilbert, who worked with Landon on Little House on the Prairie, remembered him fondly. She felt Michael was not only a brilliant co-star, but also a great father figure to her. He also wrote and directed an episode of the NBC show Love Story. He made several guest appearances on talk shows and variety shows, including the special London Bridge special, The Electric Company, and Match Game. He was married three times to Dodie Levy Fraser, Marjorie Lynn No, and Cindy Clerico. His first two marriages ended in divorce, and the last one ended with his passing in 1991. He fathered a total of nine children, including actor Mark, former actress Leslie Ann, actor, director, and writer Michael Jr., and filmmaker Christopher. And of course, his daughter Jennifer is continuing his legacy alongside some of her siblings. Like her father, she's gained a reputation for being a talented and beautiful actress and a brilliant professional. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Jennifer Landon? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.